Hey guys, welcome to uh, part one of many in our courses about pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator. Okay, it's a really very, very powerful platform. Um, if you're familiar with pattern cutting, maybe you're doing a manual process, this uh, tutorial or set of tutorials will show you how to transfer your knowledge of pattern cutting from manual pattern cutting on pen and paper to the digital platform, which is Adobe Illustrator, and how to basically edit our e-patterns. Um, so if you're not familiar with Pattern Lab, Pattern Lab essentially is a software that generates bespoke uh, basic blocks and sewing patterns using your unique measurements and then outputs them either as a multi-page PDF for home printing or sharing or it outputs it as an e-pattern which is a fully editable SVG file which allows you to then customize your pattern into hundreds of different designs. Um, so yeah, all of our tutorials um, using those e-patterns or basic blocks um, are done using Adobe Illustrator. Okay, so I would really recommend. There are other platforms out there that do edit SVGs or e-patterns, and they are. It's you can use Corel Draw or Inkscape as well. However, we default to Adobe Illustrator because. Uh, in my personal opinion it is the most powerful platform out there and it's very simple to use and once you get the hang of it um, you're, it'll be very easy to do pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator and I'm going to show you all the tips, tricks, tools that you need uh, when it comes to do this. So this tutorial, the first one, is obviously all about basically downloading, buying Adobe Illustrator. It's about £19 a month on a rolling contract uh, just for the single package. You can obviously get other ones. Uh, you can get the whole suite if you like for a little bit more. It's completely up to you. Um, but you also have a free trial, so maybe download that for seven days, see how you go with it. Use this tutorial to learn. So this tutorial is all about essentially opening up Illustrator, creating a workspace uh, a pattern cutting workspace, let's say. So uh, I go through all the various different tools you need uh, to do pattern cutting. Okay. Um, so instead of me explaining it, why don't I just get on and actually get on with it and do it? So as I said, um, by Adobe Illustrator, it should download to your desktop. You'll probably have this little C panel or this uh, Creative Cloud, which will eventually um, you'll get from Adobe uh, from Adobe. And then from in here in the app section, you will have all the different. Um, programs that you have either bought and then you can obviously install, upgrade, you can open them, etc. So when you have Adobe Illustrator CC 2019, which is the most recent version, on your uh, computer, uh, let's simply open it up. Okay, so here's Adobe Illustrator. This is just basically an introduction to Adobe Illustrator and how we might use it as a pattern cutting platform. Taking a little bit of time to load. Okay, let's just get rid of that. Sorry for delay here, it's because I'm running some screen capture software. Okay, so first of all, we're just going to go create new. Okay, and let's just, it doesn't matter what we do at the moment, at the moment we're just going to set up our workspace. Let's just go A4 centimeters, that's fine. Click create. And here we have Adobe Illustrator. Now, what I've done is I've already set this work workspace up for Adobe uh, for pattern cutting. As you can see, we have a few tools on the left-hand side here and a few tools on the right. Most likely, though, what you will get when you open this up, you'll have Essentials Classic, which is a little bit, and this will obviously this will be out as well, which is quite intimidating. So Adobe Illustrator can look very, very intimidating, what with all the different bits and pieces on here. So what we're going to do in this tutorial is basically just refine it a little bit to give you a, a bit more... Uh, just make it simpler so we don't need all these tools for pattern cutting, we only need just a very few. And so we're just going to have those on these uh, toolbars here so we can obviously then very easily, quickly just relate those tools and use them for pattern cutting. So what I want to do is I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to remove all of these ones. And to do that, I'm simply going to go to this little blue, uh, this little edit toolbar button down here, click that. And as you can see, we have all the different tools that we can add or remove down the side here. But instead of doing that, we're going to go to click on this button just here, and we're going to go to New Toolbar, and I'm just going to name it, let's say, I don't know, Pattern Cutting. Let's go Pattern Cutting Left. Uh, yeah, that'll be on this side. Click OK. And as you can see here, you get this little uh, tool toolbar with a little plus icon. Once again, click on this little menu item down the bottom here, and now this gives us a list of things that we can add to this toolbar, and I'm going to tell you which ones you need to pick out when it comes to um, pattern cutting. Okay, so first of all we need these two selection tools and we're going to come to this later in different tutorials what these actually do. So just click and drag. Uh, yeah, just click and drag on there. Same with the direct selection tool, we're going to take that one as well. Just place it next to it. Try not to place it on top, otherwise they'll 
they will be contained in one area, so just to the left or underneath. We're then going to scroll down and we're going to go for the pen tool, and once again, just place that to the left. We're then going to go to the add anchor point tool, delete anchor point tool, and also anchor, po anchor point tool. Oh, we didn't add that one, hang on a minute. There we go. In fact, let's make this there we go, let's make it long and thin and that way we can add easily. Also we're going to add the line segment tool and also the rectangle tool and what next? Let's just scroll down we're going to go for the type tool when it comes to changing uh, the information on our blocks later we're also going to go for the rotate tool, very important for pattern cutting what else? We're going to go for the eyedropper tool, really important when it comes to picking up um, attributes of lines. And also we want the scissor tool, really important when it comes to cutting your pattern piece up into various bits and pieces. And I believe that's everything. Let's have a look, let's just check. Yeah, that should be it for now, that should be perfect. Okay, great, so this is our new toolbar, and we can just click on that to simply move it out. Oh, there's one last thing I've forgotten. Let's just click on this t edit toolbar again. And then down the bottom here, you see how you have this show. And this is essentially this. Okay? So we're going to need this. This is our fill and our um, line color. And we also want to show the uh, coloring controls as well. Okay, so just make sure these two are selected. And this is your new menu, okay, which is a lot cleaner. There's less tools than we had before. And what we'll do is we're going to swap these over. So I'm going to click on, just going to drag that bar out. I'm going to hit delete, and I'm just going to drag this over to the left-hand side. There we go. Next, we're going to sort out this column here. Okay, We've got a lot of tools here that we just don't need. So to make things easier, um, we're just going to basically drag all of these out, and we can just delete them as we go. Let's just get rid of everything on this sidebar here. You only have to do this once. Um, in the future we can save this workspace so every single time we do um, pattern cutting in Adobe Illustrator you just pull up this workspace and it'll all be done for you so this might be a little bit time consuming but uh, it'll be great for the future let's just close all these great okay so we have no more right sidebar which is fantastic so what we're going to do is we're going to go to window and then I'm going to select from this list here which um, let's say toolbars or let's which tools I actually need on this right hand column here. So first of all we want to have, where is it, we want brushes, that's an important one. So let's just click and drag that into the side column. Click that closed. Let's go window, let's go where is it, so we have brushes. We also have, where is it, strokes important one. So let's just add stroke. Also we want to have the pathfinder. There we go. What else do we need? We need stroke, pathfinder, type SVG, we need a line as well. We need the line tool. Place it in the sidebar. And there's one more which I always forget, which is let's go to my other workspace. Ah, document info, of course. Okay, I always forget this one. Okay. Okay, so and we also want document info, so let's go to window and then document info. Here we go. Let's place that in there as well. Perfect. So this is your new pattern cutting, um, let's say, area. This is perfect. These are all the tools that we need to do pattern cutting. There's nothing else, so we're not going to get confused with anything. So next what we're going to do is we're going to save this workspace. So I'm just going to go Window, and I'm going to go, where is it, Workspace, and then what is it, New Workspace. And I'm going to call this Pattern Cutting Tutorial. You can name it whatever you like. Click OK. Then what happens is, if you go back to Window and Workspace, you'll see that it is now Pattern Cutting Tutorial. If we go to anything like Painting, for example, you'll see that it's a different set of tools. So this way we've saved our workspace and we can always access it at any point. Okay, makes it nice and simple. Okay, so now we've set up our, um, let's say, our workspace for pattern cutting. Next what we're going to do is look at some navigational skills, okay, which is really important. So, essentially, on your keyboard, if you hold down the command key for a Mac or control key for a PC, so hit down the command and hit plus on your keyboard, you see that you can zoom in. Let's just build an element so you can see what we can actually zoom in, in to. So, I'm going to hit control plus and you can zoom in and it goes in so far, it's so detailed how much it zooms in by, okay? And control minus to zoom out.
So using control plus to zoom in and control minus to zoom out, we can essentially um, isolate parts of our pattern. Okay? Imagine that this is our pattern. Also, if you hold down the space key, uh, space key on your keyboard, click, and then click on your mouse and drag, you get a little hand, and this allows you to drag around the page. When I click, we can drag. When I release, it lets go. You see? So we can drag around the page. So in these combination, and you'll get the hang of these eventually, you can move around your pattern and zoom in and isolate areas very, very easily. So this is really handy when it comes to navigating around our pattern. Okay, so next uh, what we have is we're going to look at rulers, okay? So with our patterns, we give you the option to, um, to use either centimeters or inches when it comes to drafting your blocks or taking your measurements. Now obviously if we're going to start pattern cutting the, uh, the basic blocks that you've created and they were set up in inches, we want our, um, our workspace to be in inches or centimeters, okay? It's really simple to do this. Um, but you'll have to do it every single time you bring your... Um, you bring your pattern into Adobe Illustrator. So it's really important to get the hang of this. So first of all, we're going to go to View and then click Rulers, Show Rulers, okay? And that will bring up our guides on the left and also on the top here. If I right-click, so if I hover over this, uh, this little dark bar, the ruler, and right-click, you can see it gives me some options. You have inches, millimeters, centimeters, and some various web formats and type formats. So I always use centimeters because I'm, I'm in the UK. It's my system. Uh, but you can also change that to inches. There you go, so inches or centimeters. So every time you open up your basic block in uh, Adobe Illustrator, unfortunately the rulers don't save to workspace. You just have to make sure you have your rulers set to inches or centimeters depending on what you're working with. Also, you'll need to go to Illustrator or um, I think it's preferences basically. I think you can find this in the file menu for Windows and for Macs it's in the Illustrator CC. Just go to preferences and then units. You can also Let's just cancel that. Get to it from this little button here. Okay, so click preferences and go to units. And you just want to make absolutely sure that this isn't on something else like pixels. Just make sure it's on centimeters. So if you're working with centimeters, make sure it's centimeters in the rulers and also in the preferences. Okay. Once you're happy, click OK. Great stuff. So we've done a little bit of navigation. Uh, we've done a little bit of setting up the workspace and also talking about you know how you might basically yeah go to set up your your station. Um, before pattern cutting. Okay, so that's the first kind of tutorial, just a bit of an introduction. Next, we're going to start looking at how we get our basic block or our e pattern, our e pattern, which is an SVG format, into Adobe Illustrator and onto something called the cutting table. The cutting table is something that we've produced, um, and I'll explain that in the next tutorial.